side. So we're going to access the Vault Policy Servicing tool from the Policy Servicing drop down menu. First thing you see on this page is two tabs the Bulk Policy Servicing tab and the Group Manager tab. Because we've not used this service before, the first thing we have to do is create a group of policies. We go to the Group Manager for this. Once in the Group Manager, you'll see three tabs the Create Group tab, Edit a Group tab, and Delete a Group tab. We're going to create a group, first off, giving the group a name. And the next step is to add some policies to our group. For this we use the policy filter. We can filter by client name, by product type and by policy status. Or we can just simply click the apply filter button and retrieve all our list of policies, which have been blurred out for security reasons. Next step is to add some of these policies to our group. We can do this by simply double clicking or selecting and clicking add. There's also a select all option, so if you wish to add all your policies. Some other options, such as shift, holding shift down and clicking, allows you to select multiple policies to then add to the list. Once we have our defined set of policies, we can click the save button and then return back to the policy servicing tab. So our group is now saved. If we go back to the Policy Servicing tab, once back on this tab, we can now work with the new group that we've just created. So we can select Group 1 here, and now we need to define and choose an actual service to perform on that group of policies. The services available are pre-policy history, valuations, policy summary, data download and cache statement. We're going to choose to do evaluation today. We can select evaluation date. And finally we need to choose a file format. Depending on which service you have chosen, different file formats will be available. For the valuation, we can see a zip format, which would contain individual PDFs, one per policy, or one big PDF containing all of the valuations in just one single PDF. Click continue. This has now said that the book request has been successful, and then we can now go to the mailbox all of the books of policy servicing items are delivered to the mailbox. We can see that our bulk valuation request has now been received successfully and has a status of available. If you had a lot of policies in your group, you may find that this operation takes a little bit longer. We can now choose to just click on this and save it to our local drive, or we'll have the option to open it depending on which browser you're using. Each of the items lasts for 30 days, but any of the items at any point in time can be selected and deleted manually. Going back now to the book policy servicing screen, And from here again we can choose to perform a different uh, service or perhaps we might want to change the actual group itself. To edit the group we go to the group manager and select the edit group function. This screen is pretty much the same as the create a group screen. You would select your group, apply your policy filter, then choose to add additional policies or remove policies. If you no longer 
require a group, the delete group function will remove the group without affecting any of the policies inside it. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have any queries, you can contact our online support team at websupport at rl360.com. Thank you for watching.